Some of the sleet is not sitting on this field, so Soli will put this one up. And it is wide right, so you go from a miss to this, and now the University of Alberta Golden Bears really have something happening here. Wes Bookland with a big return. Bookland inside the 20, 10. Touchdown, Alberta. Are you kidding me? You go from a drop touchdown pass, you make the field goal, there's a penalty on it, the Huskies miss the kick, and Wes Bookland takes it all. A low snap, but the kick is up, and it is good. It's not back to midfield now for Nias in this offense, and they bring the heat. Nias puts this ball up in the air, and do the Golden Bears have it? What's the sign from the officials? It was Josiah okay. Shackle coming like a bat out of hell. My goodness catches Nias as he's throwing the ball and you can see there Nias on the turf grabbing his right sort of wrist and arm area. T2 and 39 he was good from last week on the coast and this one goes through the uprights as well so so a field goal attempt to put the home side out front for the first time and it is good. A We had an official go down on the play over here, number 41. He's back on his feet, a little cramp in the cold, but the linesman's back over here yep. by the down sticks. Yep. 97 for Mackard now in the ball game. Nicely into the second half here. Much more here, Adam Mackard through the middle. And he gets to the pylon and down at the one yard line. So. Couple of footballs to go. Nias is going to put this one up in the air. It is caught. Touchdown, Sam Baker. Baker, the touchdown maker. And finally, the Huskies get into the end zone. On Whiting to spring Lonhart for the first down. So from the 50, Lonhart puts up a ball, and Charlie Ringland comes up with an interception for the U of S Huskies. Sassoli will come in on this 31-yard attempt. We got to remember, Wes Bookland's in the end zone, standing back there for the Golden Bears. Just joined us, that's how the Golden Bears put up their first touchdown of the day was a big return of Wesley Bookland.